Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited to have this um, discussion with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little brief overview of my week. I'm looking right here. I should be looking here, but I'm looking at myself in a reflection at a mirror because my viewfinder is broken. So I'm gonna just try to look at you guys. Okay, so um, my whole week has been such a week of tests and although I was very prepared for the test that will be risen and the just overall the enemy's way of trying to change my mind about certain things I would just say but um this week has really been something that a week that has been teaching me a lot as for um, what I allow my ears and my mind to consume and with that being said I'm gonna go into the topic of how did I um, quit listening to secular music and secular TV I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Did that transition become and if you don't know what secular music secular TV is it's just worldly music um, ungali music ungali television and television is a way of telling a vision so and I've been getting this like conviction lately which is like whenever I'll be in a car because so most of the time I don't play the secular music because I don't have it on my phone anymore but before I connect my aux cord the radio would be on and then it would just have this very lustful song or a song that has no purpose or is ungodly and like I'll immediately feel my spirit inside of me telling me to just shut it off like I I'm not at the point well I don't feel like it is I'm ever going to be at a point where I can balance out the two because I don't feel like that's what Christ has for me but um that this transition has not been very easy but I can say that it's been almost three months that I have not listened to secular music or secular television and for me like I was never I was a television person you know in a certain extent I'll watch like Love and Hip Hop and those stuff are things that I've been cut off since last summer but um, I'm also a YouTube girl so I love to watch YouTube and a lot of these um, YouTubers out here are not saved so since they are not saved like they would th talk things of lust and talk things that has no value, has no purpose, and I'm starting to begin like the same people, same YouTubers that I used to love are the same YouTubers that are um, promoting sinful acts and it started, I didn't want it to rub off on me so I just like started unsubscribing from those people and and stuff like that and the reason why I stopped listening to secular music even though people or I said it myself but even though we say that music is just music like it's just for fun um, I get it it can be just for fun but music is very powerful music brings back memories music brings back um, <clears throat> old times um, with people that no longer are in your life or in that season of your life um, music bring back smells like music is so powerful little do we know and music definitely changes behavior it can change your mood from a sad mood to a great mood or from a great mood to a sad mood like demand depending <clears throat> sorry depending on the the genre of the song so i was starting to realize that me listening to music that are like wild like part like music that they would play at clubs and stuff like it wasn't helping me um feel connected to god and like since i've been on this journey i've been wanting every area of my life to be about god and that's where i consider him being in the center of my life and me listening to secular music it was it was like a conviction in a way it was it was bringing back these memories and sometimes it's good to be remembered um of because that's the whole point of re remembrance sometimes it's good to remember where god has taken you from and where you are now but it's another thing to remember where he has taken you from and continue to add the old characteristics of who you used to be in this new journey of where he's trying to take you and where you are now so secular music has a very big influence on our everyday lives um the things that they say in the lyrics i started to get that conviction i started to actually listen to 
the lyrics of these songs and I felt so disgusted at these songs that I used to actually sing out loud and like feel like it was okay to listen to because I didn't know any better. But I'm just here to tell you guys that music is very powerful. And if you are on your journey to Christ, you should be mindful of the things that you consume in your life. And sometimes it's very hard to get away from the secular music, like if you're in the gym. Or, yeah, if you're in the gym, where else you hear music? I don't know. Like nail salon or hair salon or something? Like when you go to these places... <clears throat> And most people already are playing secular music because that is just what the world is. I I sometimes like would have to because I don't go to the hair salon and stuff like that like that. But <clears throat> when I do, like if I go work out or something, I would know that I have to have headphones. Like I'll have to guard my heart, and that's when guarding your heart come in. Like you have to be able to um, differentiate the two, differentiate. Um, worldly aspects and differentiate you know <clears throat> what is good to feed your mind and we sometimes don't want to make that sacrifice because it's very hard to let go of what we used to do and we think that music is just so innocent because it's just music and we we feel like we're able to not apply the things that we hear in the music in our lives but sometimes we don't even notice that music is changing us we don't even music like the violent music the violent sounds the violent um tones in their voice is be having an impact on our lives and the way we speak and the way we act and the way that we treat others and that's not a way that you should want to live if you're on your journey to christ but it definitely takes some time. Since I got saved in August, I... From August to about... Okay, so once I got saved in August, like, automatically... Um, it was very hard for me to... Well, I already have. Let me... I had got rid of, like, listening to, like, Alkaline. If you guys know me from before like i was in love with alkaline i loved his music and his music is very lustful very lustful everything about his music is lustful and i had to, i knew i had to cut it out like i was trying so hard for me to like say but i would try to make excuses for it like in a way for me to actually listen to it still i wanted to find a way that i can but i realized that i can't so here I am. I stopped listening to him and over the time from December to Dece December, from August to December, um, in between that I was like bouncing from secular music to worship music, bouncing from secular music to worship music. Um, I was having the, the two of them in my playlist and stuff like that, but I started to realize like I'm trying to change and I'm trying to become who Christ wants me to be. And the music that I'm listening to is having a very big influence, little do I know it. And what comes with um, your journey to Christ, you will realize that you start, to get, you start to get convictions for certain things that you used to do. I started feeling extra um, horrible about things that used to bring joy and used to bring um, fulfillment in my heart. I didn't... I didn't want to accept the fact that I had to give things up, but I would try to find ways of thinking that God would be okay with whatever I'm doing. Things that I allow my mind and my heart and my ears to consume, and that even goes with people that you're around. Is anybody in your circle bringing you any substance? Are the people around you um, feeding your mind negativity? Are the people around you very hostile the people around you very um angry all the time because those even though sometimes it's easy to have someone around you that is that of that character and we we feel like we don't have to be like that because we're two different people which is true yes we are two different people but at the times that we least expect it we'll see that we're picking up the characteristics of that person when that person isn't around and that's something I've started feeling convicted of. I didn't want to place myself around situations that I knew I wasn't strong enough to be in and strong enough to show Christ in, in those instances. So, yeah, guys, um, the journey to Christ is definitely not easy. 
you're definitely going to start getting convictions. God is going to start to nudge you. and He's going to start um, pushing you closer to him. You'll start to feel in your spirit, like, why do I feel like not doing this anymore? Like, why do I um, feel bad for listening to this music? Because even when it, I started on this journey of not listening to secular music, I would feel so bad even if something's on the radio and like it's like very it's a very innocent song like I'll feel so bad for listening to it and I was like why like I used to listen to this type of stuff but it's really God just changing your heart he's guarding your heart he's really just trying to protect you from us around the world and I love him so much for that because I had no idea that I would actually change my life so much like this I had no idea that God will um turn a messy situation in a messy person a messy situation into um a god-filled heart person and i'm so grateful to um to actually be used by him because I, like i said before like i never felt like i was this person to come on here and actually speak about my faith i never felt like i was a person or worthy enough to share um, the wonderful act of God and the reason why I felt like that was because I was a person who listened to secular music the first thing I woke up in the morning I was a person who woke up first thing in the morning got on my phone and went on Instagram I was a person who um, was angry all the time I was a person who was um, always always not at peace and the minute that I discovered Christ and I discovered his love for me. It was so easy for me to be at peace in all areas of my life. It was so easy for me to understand that um, he's going to He's gonna handle all our worries and our fears and our doubts and our stress. And from then, everything in my life like just started changing. Like I just... I started like losing people that I thought were closest to me. I started to um, see like the true uh, colors, I guess, in like family and stuff like that. I started to get the convictions of like people around me that I thought that I was living for, um, as in like, when I say living for, I mean, I was a person that always stuck out and that was always very noticeable. Um, I never knew if it was because I was tall or I never knew if it was because, I don't know, like, I was the only one that went natural hair at that, like, when, like, back then and stuff like that, before, like, the natural hair movement, like, became so huge. Like, I've always been the one with natural hair, so I always felt like either because I was tall with natural hair, I always stuck out. And I was always trying to fit, uh, try to find a way to fit in with others because I'm the person that don't like attention and I don't like to be notice all the time i like to just be in the mix and nobody really see me but they see me kind of thing and that was something that i was been dealing with all my life and then i realized like god i'm god's gift like he he's been wanting me to stick out he's been wanting me to stand out he's been wanting me to become this person that i am becoming today he's been wanting me to be a leader he's been wanting me to serve him but i was so I'm wrapped up in like pleasing everybody else and thinking about what everybody else is going to think. And I just wanted um, everybody to like me, to be honest. And I, the same people that I really wanted to like me is the same people that let me down plenty, countless times. And if only I had um, just listened to God and, and trusted him and accepted the fact that I'm just different from, from people that's around me, I would be... Um, on a closer journey to him but everything does happen for a reason I feel like I had to go through those things I had to experience what I've experienced to um be on the journey that I am today right now I hurt so much so even like people that I come across that are not Christians um like I already had to to set the boundaries and and as a christian it's hard because you want to always like please everybody you always want to like say yes and that's the thing like our yeses doesn't have to overpower our no's it's okay and that's something i've been reading in this book learning to lead like jesus it was very good 
um, I actually wrote down a quote from it. It says, I am too often driven by the flesh to please people instead of being led by the spirit to serve. It's okay to say no. And that's just amazing. I love it. I love that quote and I love what it says. And I'm just so grateful to know that um, I've been free from secular music, from secular TV, from um, things that are not bring no substance, no purpose, no value to me. And I've been feeling very different about it. It's sometimes I get that temptation from the enemy telling me like, you know, it's okay, go listen to Beyonce. It's okay, go listen to Alkaline. Like, listen to it for a second. Like, you used to do it all the time. I would hear that voice inside of my head telling me to do that. But I know not. I know better not to act on my emotions and act on what would please God and... That takes some time. That takes growing to do. It definitely didn't happen over time. Like, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all and tell y'all that right after I got saved, I was sitting here listening to gospel music all day long because that definitely wasn't the case. But now I am. Like, and now it's not um, something that's like, oh, I got to listen to gospel music or oh, I don't. I don't want to listen to this. I want to listen to um, mainstream music. I want to listen to something that makes me hype and made me feel hype. That made me feel jumpy and made me feel like, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. it I find an artist like that and it, the, the difference of it is that artists would be a gospel artist, a worship artist. And the same feeling that I would get from listening in the, in the secular music, um, I would get from the Christian music and except the lyrics were different. The lyrics were worshiping God. The lyrics were pleasing for God. The lyrics were um, a conviction for me. I can relate to the actual things that are happening in the in those songs as um, the true value Christ has, the true love that Christ has for us. And I started feeling the convictions and I started feeling all the the um, the pain that I had inside of me. And I was, um, it was basically a way for me to let out all that I was feeling on the inside and, and a way to cry out to God. And, um, yeah, now that when I listen to worship music, which is all the time, I feel like I always, I always am connecting with God. Like even when I'm in a car, I listen to worship music. Even before I go to sleep, when I wake up, when I'm at work, when I'm at lunch. Um, I'm always listening to worship music and that's just my time to spend with God and I started realizing that worship music and prayer time was my time that I felt so much closer to him and I used to abandon him for my own flesh for my own emotions and little did I know like I would go to parties I'll be quick to go to parties I would quick to be going to um, out to eat with people and it was so much on me to just take five minutes out of the day to just say thank you God for waking me up this morning thank you and I trust you and I love you and like we're willing to we're willing to ask God for so much but we're we're not willing to do so much for him we want him to do so much for us but we're not willing to do so much for him yeah, right and wrong, and I'm so grateful for God for the spirit of discernment because now I've been able to recognize um, things that are not good for me and things that are going to be good for me. And with that being said is since I've been cutting off all this um, worldly things of my life, I've been feeling cl way closer to God. God has been speaking to me in ways that I've never heard him speak to me before, and um, I also have been blessed with plenty of things that I thought that it would take so long to get because I was distracted and I quickly ended that spirit of distraction through Christ's help. And yeah, now it's been two months of um, no secular music. I would say it's been six months, but from December to from I keep saying that from August to December, I was jumping back and forth from secular to um, worship music. So I don't really want to add that in there. But from January first, my birthday was January second. I've been straight listening to Christian music, and it has been such a revelation in my life. Um, hear God's voice more now that I'm not so distracted. So.
that was just something that I want to come on here and talk to you guys about real quick. I'm about to go get my nails done. They're looking crazy. I got a big shoot coming up on Wednesday that I can't wait to tell you guys about. I've been, God is just so good. God is so amazing. And um, I wouldn't be this person I am today without Christ. And I'm so glad that I'm being able, I'm being able to um, share my testimony, share my story, and help um, influence others on their journey to Christ. And know that it's not easy and you're not alone. Um, you're not the only one feeling the way you do feel. And, you know, we have to um, act for the spirit of discernment, ask God for the spirit of discernment, ask God to help you um, leave behind your old selfish ways because anything that is not of God is selfish. And we don't want to, we want to please God. So, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.